Hey you dirty gamers, welcome to my video where I'll be starting a new character and merchanting all the way from 1 GP to 5.3 mil to buy a bond. Enjoy! The purpose of this mini-series is to entertain you and show you how you can earn a bond using only the Grand Exchange. If you like the content, then don't forget to smash the like button. My channel is new, and I am developing as a content creator, and truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. So to get things started, I went through the tutorial island, and then I headed straight to Barok, and I dropped all my items except for 1 GP. For those of you that don't know, the Grand Exchange is northwest of Barok, and you can exchange your items for GP from other players, or you can buy items using your GP. As free to play, you get three exchange slots to trade with, and then as a member you can trade up to eight items at a time. During this 1 GP to bond mini series, the only way I can make money is through the Grand Exchange. So it took me a while to find the first item that I could buy. I went through a couple different things like bucket and ashes and bones and I couldn't find anything. And eventually I went to the air talisman um, or the uh, air tiara and I bought that. But it didn't look like it wants to sell. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and sell this air tiara for one gold. And then I'm going to try to find something else. Uh, so I'm going to put in the Grand Exchange for one gold and I'll be back when it sells. Okay, now we're back. Uh, so I was able to sell that Air Tierra for this one GP. I'm going to click that and then I was looking it up. I'm going to try to get some uh, leather chaps. And right now the Grand Exchange price is at 2 GP. So we're going to do 1 GP. And then, oh, the Instant Bot. Um, Alright, let's try to sell these for 2 GP. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I've tried a couple different items. Uh, they're just not really buying and selling for any profit. So I'm going to try herring. Um, I feel like I can buy it and sell it for a decent price. If it'll buy. Hey, look at that. Instant buy. Alright, well that's not always a good sign. That happened with the uh, leather chaps, chaps as well. So let's go ahead and sell this. Um, I think I'll do like 4 GP. Alright. Wish me luck. Hey, 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 I'm back. And uh, so I guess we sold that herring for 4 GP. And since that worked well the first time, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Uh, these are the items I've traded so far. I've tried to trade a couple different ones. They didn't really work out. Uh, but anyways, so let's uh, buy some more herring. And I'm just going to put an offer in for 1 GP for each one. Okay, not an instant buy this time. Uh, I'll be right back. So uh, the herring's not really selling, so I was thinking about it, and I'm going to try to diversify my portfolio. Uh, and by that, I mean I'm going to try buying uh, one herring, and then I'm going to put in for one sardine, and then one raw sardine. I'll let you know how it goes. In a little while uh, nothing's buying right now so I'm gonna go ahead and try a couple different items I'll let you know how I get it give me just a minute here okay so I settled on the vial mine tira and bronze bolts let's see how it goes so these offers aren't working out I'm gonna go back to the herring because those were at least buying I'm just gonna offer a little more and see what we can do we bought the herring for 4 GP and we're going to try to sell for 8. 5 GP. That's what we got for this herring. What I'm going to do is flip until I get around 20 GP. And I'm going to show you my history. Um, that way I'm not just stopping every 2 seconds to show you what the new flip is. Hey, we were able to make some massive gains. Uh, so basically I bought each one of these herrings for 4 GP each. And sold them overnight for 7 GP each. Giving us a total of 21 GP. I'm going to go ahead and collect that. Now we have a total of 24 GP. And here's my history. I ended up just trading herring. I tried uh, putting in offers for other things, and herring was the only one thing that wanted to trade. I bought leather chaps for 1 GP, had to sell them for 1 GP. Um, now I'm going to try to snipe some items. So I'm going to try the leather band braces, the leather body, and the bronze dagger. Alright, let's see how it goes. Wow, that's some good news. 
Uh, so I haven't even closed the screen yet and the bronze dagger bot. So let's go ahead and sell that. Man oh man, we're making some money now. These leather band braces just bought. Uh, let me give you another update, somewhere between 50 and 100 gold, and we'll see how it goes. Hey gents, so we've been buying and selling these bronze daggers, and currently uh, I'm selling them at 21 GP each and buying them for 11 GP each. We did get one lucky trade and got 27 GP each. And that brings us up to a total of 110 gold in all these trades right here. Uh, so we'll keep doing that. I'm going to try some iron items as well. I'll probably update you somewhere between 300 and 500 gold. Okay guys, so I just want to show you this. Something interesting happened. I was trying to price check uh, some new items. And I price checked this bronze longsword. And I bought it at 21 GP. And then I sold it and uh, instantly sold for 50 GP. Not really sure what's going on there. Uh, I'll let you know if it happens again. So I'm not really sure what's going on here, uh, but I found out I can buy bronze arrows for 6 GP each. And then, oops, I don't have that much money. So let's buy 10 out of them. So there's instant buy, and for whatever reason, they are instant selling for 8 GP each. Don't ask me how that's working, but I'm going to take advantage of it and continue to, to, uh, to do it. Okay, so I was able to trade those bronze arrows up to the point where I can trade 239 at a time, but I think this run might be over. Um, this last sell offer just instantly sold half of them. So I'm going to take that money, we'll see if we can uh, buy any more in a little bit once the rest of these sell. I used that money from the bronze arrows uh, to put in offers for these steel axes and mithril axes. And then uh, this is those last bronze arrows that I had. I'm trying to sell them for 7 GP. I might have to just sell them for the 6 GP we bought them for. Um, but yeah, we'll see how these sell. They all bought decently quick. Probably only took about 10 minutes to buy all these. And hopefully they'll sell just as quick. Hey guys, so I was looking through my exchange tab and I just want to give you guys an update. Here's where we started the uh, bronze arrows, and you can see it really multiplied. And uh, as we go up, you know, originally 6 GP, 6 GP, and then we're going up, up 640 coins and 1,000 coins. And now we're at this point. Um, and my steel axe is just sold, so I'm going to try to buy a couple more of those, and hopefully we can get up to around 3 or 4K soon. I'll, I'll give you an update. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is show you guys how to flip items and the best technique to find new items to flip. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to support this channel. Hey guys, if you'd like to support this channel and allow me to upgrade my content, please check out these cool items in my Amazon affiliate links below. There are some awesome RuneScape themed masks I found to show off to your friends. And if you have ever gotten bored of sitting at your computer and you want to stand up and do something, you can get a miniature basketball hoop like I did. Thank you so much for the support. Just by watching this video, you're helping my channel grow, and I really appreciate it. Now I'm going to show you how to flip items and how to select which items to flip. Uh, so we're going to look up this steel pickaxe, and we're going to buy it, and we're just going to up the price. Because we're going to buy one, we're checking to see what the maximum price is. This is called price checking. So we see that it bought for 345 gold. Now we're going to take that item, and we're going to sell it for the lowest price. So we're going to smash that button. Alright, so it's going to sell for 258 So, we can go to the History tab, and we can see that it sold for 258 bought for 245 and that's like a uh, 90 GP gap. So we're going to put an offer in for 1 GP over what it sold for. That means no one else is buying it for more than that price, so we're going to put an offer in for 259 coins. I'm going to try to buy a couple of them. Okay, so those steel pickaxes, they bought for that 259 gold. And 
and I got a total of a thousand gold in the steel pickaxes, and then 72 gold in bronze arrows, and 800 gold in mithril axes. So we're at about 2,000 gold. I got 177 gold in my inventory, so we're doing pretty good. And when we price checked the steel axes earlier, they were gonna buy for 200 or 345 gold. So that's gonna be the sell price. We'll do one gold less than 345. So we're gonna put them in for 344. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Awesome guys, so we got those steel pickaxes to sell except for one of them. And then these mithril axes that I've been buying for 31 gold each, or sell them for 73 gold each. So I'm gonna update you somewhere around 4 or 5k, and we'll see how long it takes to get there. Jagex, Jagex, Jagex. Uh, so it looks like some of the high traded items that bots normally trade, you can't trade unless you have a skill total of 100, 10 quest points, and 20, 20 hours in game. And I don't have any of those, so. I guess what we're going to do is go get that. I'll be back. And in the meantime, I'll probably trade a couple trades of the uh, lower tier items. But, you know, I gotta get those levels to trade anything else. Okay, so I needed to record this. Uh, I'm getting that 100 total level. And it's just cool to see that there's people that play this game just like we did back in like 2006, 2007. Uh, these two people on the left in the black, they're like a boyfriend and girlfriend, and they're just talking to each other. I thought it was interesting, I thought I should share it. I mean, it's just funny to see. I mean, it's, it's a good thing having this in the game still, but I didn't know it existed. I don't really play free to play very much. But uh, these cows are really popping off right now. <laughs> There's a bunch of people here. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing standing at the GUE the whole time, but... Oh, um, hey look, <laughs> there's somebody in full bandos in the uh, lava cape here too. Oh man, <laughs> this is pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna get back to training. Uh, hopefully, these two love birds can have a good night as well. <laughs> okay, so now we got our 10 quest points and our 100 total level. We just gotta wait out the 20 hours, take all my items, and drop them on the ground. That way, I'm not using any extra. And all these uh, trades in between that I've been doing made sure to drop all my items on the ground before I did the trades, just to make sure no uh, extra gold's getting into my cash stack. Isn't that just the purtiest thing you ever seen in your life? All green. I put in some buy and sell offers, and I put them in overnight. So, buy a bunch of these bronze maces for 21 GP each, and we're going to try to sell them for, let's see, we'll do 79 GP each. Um, they just instant sold. Oh, that's huge. Nice. All right, we're gonna buy some more of those. And then steel axes sold. And then mithril axes bought them for 32 GP each. Oh, it'd be so sweet if these instant sold. I'm gonna sell them for 80. Okay, those didn't instant sell, but that's still 5K plus all this stuff. So we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Things are coming along pretty nice. We got these Adam axes that are buying and selling, making 90 gold per axe. And then these bronze maces, uh, they're taking a while to buy, but I got 19 so far at 21 GP each. And if you remember from earlier, we had sold those for 100 each, so that should be some good profit. And here's all the stuff I've been buying and selling. Uh, still waiting to sell these lobster uh, back to the Grand Exchange, but you know, it's got a 20 hour wait on it, so. <laughs> It'll be a little while, but good progress so far. Hey, would you look at that? It's green, the color of money. All right, so if you look at the top here, it says we got 11.1K, and then we got 449 coins in our inventory. So we're around 11.5K. Uh, That's pretty good. Um, it's taken about a day and a half to get here, and we got, let's see, 3.7K in these black axes. I'm going to keep trading some uh, black items. They're kind of rare, um, but the price goes up and there's a big price gap. Uh, so I'm going to keep doing those. And then these Adamant Axes sold, 2.4k. And then I still got this offer in. Um, I might have to take it out and adjust it. Still at 19 of these maces. And that's going to be the end of this episode for today. Um, it's getting a little bit long. And I want to say thank you because I got my first subscriber today. 
Um, so a huge thanks for that. And all these views on my videos, um, I just enjoy watching them go up. So thank you very much for watching and hope you subscribe. That way you can see how well we do in the next episode. Uh, we'll see if we can get up to, I don't know, probably between 50 and 100k. Um, but anyways, you all enjoy your day and enjoy RuneScape. Bye.